Now on to some other news. You may recall our exclusive story of last week concerning this photograph of an ABC Four Corners crew filming on the driveway of the Chief Executive of Woodside, Meg O'Neill, at a time protesters were seeking to invade her family home. In an original statement on the matter, the ABC had said, quote, just prior to the action, the team received a tip to go to an address. They had no knowledge what was at the address or that it was someone's house. They had no knowledge of what action was going to occur there. Well, late Friday night, that was corrected with a Friday dump of a heavily legal statement from ABC Managing Director David Anderson, which read, quote, The ABC team maintains it did not collude with or encourage the protesters, but then it goes on to say, quote, The information provided does not indicate the Four Corners team crossed onto private property. The team also followed the direction of police, moving further back onto the road and later across the road. So if they weren't on private property, why did police ask them to move back, I ask? The statement goes on. The review does indicate the team did have some awareness of what was planned. To that extent, the element of the previous statement issued by the ABC concerning knowledge of what specific actions might occur prior to the event did not reflect all relevant information subsequently available and was incorrect. ABC goes on, we'll be investigating how this inaccuracy arose further to ensure this doesn't happen again. So did the Four Corners crew mislead ABC management? It appears so. It looks like the investigative journalism program Four Corners is about to be investigated itself, with the opposition looking now to lodge a series of freedom of information requests around the Four Corners crew's communications with the protesters. Now, as Sky News revealed last week, WA Liberal senators have put up a motion for a Senate inquiry into the actions of the ABC and Four Corners crew in relation to this. The government will not support this, however, believing the ABC will cop hours of grilling over it at Senate estimates in a couple of weeks. People on both sides of politics were condemning and questioning the ABC over its actions in shadowing the protesters last week. Those protesters have now been charged. The unacceptable behaviour towards a private citizen in this matter is completely unacceptable. The ABC does have a responsibility to explain what's happened here and to investigate it properly. Every large organisation gets it wrong. I hate to say it, the ABC gets it wrong more often than most other organisations. And the head of those organisations need to apologise.